Magadi Murimi, welcome to the Mukushi Seeds Magonama Rima Academy of Crop Production. My name is Dr. John McRobert, and I have over 30 years of experience in crop agronomy in all sectors of Zimbabwe large scale and small scale farming. And I'd like to share with you over the coming series on how you as a farmer can become more productive and profitable so that your families can be healthy and happy. So this series is for you if you want to become a more productive farmer, a farmer who contributes more to society, and a farmer who makes more money at the end of the day. In this series we're going to cover a whole range of crops. We'll concentrate on maize because that's usually the first crop that gets planted, but we'll look at other crops like soybeans and groundnuts and cowpeas as we go through the season. And it's my intention that Week by week, we'll offer a series of short videos to you to cover aspects of crop production management. Now this year, as you know, we are now in about the middle of October. It's hot, it's dry, as we would expect it to be at this time of year. And there's a lot of anticipation for the rainy season. But recently there's been a fair amount of discussion about the potential for drought this year. And some people have said that it could be the worst drought we've experienced for many, many years. And because of that talk, a lot of farmers that I've met have said, well, should we even grow any crops? One farmer I met the other day said, yeah, I'm not going to grow any maize under dryland conditions this year. I might do a little bit under irrigation. Now that concerns me. Because we need production in this country. We need crop production that will input commodity into our society, into the agricultural economy, into the agricultural industry. And so I would like to encourage you in this series that we should still be thinking very seriously of how we can plant, manage, and produce crops this season. Now in the book of Ecclesiastes, in the Bible, in chapter 11, verse 4, we read this. It says something like this. He who looks to the wind will not sow, and he who takes regards of the clouds will not reap. Now I think the meaning of this is don't take too much concern or don't take too seriously the predictions that people have about the weather that's to come. Rather get on with the, the activity of farming because no one can predict the weather in the coming days. We can have a reasonably good idea of whether it might rain or not tomorrow or might get hot or cold, but for the whole season it's very difficult for anyone to make an accurate prediction. Now in Zimbabwe we know that every year there is a different season. No two seasons are the same. And in every and and throughout the country there'll always be some areas which are drier than normal and some areas that are wetter than normal. In Zimbabwe we have different regions, regions one through five. And as you go from region one, two, three, four, and five, the chance of rain becomes less the unpredictability of the season becomes more. And so every year, somewhere in Zimbabwe, there is going to be a drought. There is going to be a difficult season. And so my intention with this series is to help you as a farmer grow your crops in such a way that whatever the season, you have the best chance, the best opportunity to achieve a good yield. So our focus is on production, how you as a farmer can be productive and profitable so that your families can be healthy and happy. Now as we begin this series, I just want to lay down a few basic principles so that as we, we go forward, we, we have these in, a, in the background as a foundation, so to speak, and we build upon those. So these five principles are this. Firstly, every grain of soil that you have on your farm 
is essential. That soil supports your crop. You need to look after that soil, conserve that soil uh, to the best of your ability. Don't let your soil go down to Mozambique and into the sea. Conserve your soil. Secondly, every seed that you sow counts. You need to consider every seed as a genetic potential that will give you some production at the end of the season. And we at Makushi Seeds take seed very seriously. We sell our seeds in seed bags that have a certain number of seeds because we know that every seed counts. Thirdly, we would encourage you to recognize that every gram of fertilizer or every bag of manure that you use on your farm is going to contribute to your yield and production. And therefore, take care of your fertilizer. Choose the right fertilizer. Apply it at the right rate and use it at the right time. Fourthly, we, we realize that every raindrop is a gift from God. We need to conserve that rain and receive that rain with thanksgiving and use that rain as best as we can. And so whatever activity we do in our fields should be an activity that helps that rain that we receive stay in our field and be usable to our crop. And then finally, every plant that grows in your field Every plant of maize or soybeans or groundnuts or whatever crops you have, every one of those plants is going to contribute to your production. And therefore we have to really take care of every plant. We have to make sure that every plant of our crop has the best possible conditions, that there's no weed competition, that there is the fertilizer, the, the, the soil, the manure, the, the, the care that that plant needs so that it can achieve the best possible production in the weather conditions that we receive in that season. And so this is the first in the series that we will be talking through the season with you about how to grow good crops and how to achieve good production. And we'd like you to join with us over the series. And if you have any comments, any ideas, any questions, we welcome those. You can contact us at Mukushi Seeds. My name again is John McRobert, and our telephone number is 0782-808080. And you're free to call that number, ask your question, and we'll bring that up where possible on this program, giving you an answer that helps you to be a productive and profitable farmer. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to being with you again in the near future. Thank you.